All right, so we're getting ready to plant some corn today, and we're going to be using our John Deere Model 80 planters to do this. This is actually a two-head planter uh, that we bought that somebody put together. But uh, we're going to put our corn in the hoppers here, but we need it to put the corn down every three to four inches. And so we need to first test our spacing to see uh, how far apart the corn is. So... I'm going to go ahead and take the top hopper off here. If you guys can see, this is just a, a quick release here by hand. The hopper tips up and comes right out of there. So that's real easy. It's real easy to remove. But this is actually the mechanism that runs the corn through. Um, we're going to take a small handful of corn and drop it down into the head here. This is where the, that's where the hopper would, uh, would sit on top of and so the corn that we the corn that we would put in there the hopper would end up in here so this this type of uh, planter does not uh, not use any discs or anything like that it actually uses this spinning head right here and inside here there's grooves on the other side there's smaller grooves for like beans all you have to do is pop this pin out and flip the thing over it's already set up for corn so you can get around and see that. So this notch has a smaller notch there. And this is just the head that goes on there. And it's spring-loaded. So anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tray. And we're going to put it underneath. And we're going to spin this wheel forward until we actually get some corn to drop out of it. Alright, so it's dropping corn. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this wheel. And we're going to spin it one full revolution. Uh, the outer diameter of this ends up being about six foot if you're driving forward. And we're going to see how many times it drops as we go through that revolution. So there's one drop. There's two drops. There's three. Four. Five. And six. So it basically drops corn six times for one revolution which is about one, one drop of corn. Now it's, it's putting down two or three seed every time, but that's what it's going to be doing and dropping that corn in at about one foot distance. So we wanted to do about three inch distance. So what we're going to have to do here is this pulley is driven by this gear. When I turn this forward, that wheel's turning the chain. So we need to get the big gear off of here and run it to the small sprocket. So I'm gonna basically take this out, I'm gonna unbolt these three, remove this gear, and move this down to the smaller gear, so it actually spins this faster, so it drops the corn more often. So this one I already have set up. I took this large pulley off of here. You can see that one, how it's bolted there. I took it off of there, removed the cotter pin here, Pulled this pulley off, got the old one off, and the smaller gear is already on there. And basically just used this spring-loaded piece to put the chain back on. So smaller sprocket here is going to run this faster for the same revolutions of the wheel here. So we'll turn the wheel. You can see how much quicker this corn is going to come out here. There's a full revolution there. We're getting about 20 pieces of corn. We counted them up. And uh, that ends up being about three to three and a half inches per, uh, per kernel of corn as you drive through and plant it. So that's more of what we want. Um, so at this point, I will just do the same thing to that one. We'll put the hoppers back on, fill them with corn, and we can go out and plant. 